In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about equilibrium of coplanar force systems, wherein we will take a look at equilibrium of connected bodies, equilibrium of pin jointed frames, and statically determinate and indeterminate beams. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. When two or more bodies are in contact or connected to each other, by an internal connection like an internal hinge, roller or a rope, they form a system of connected bodies. We can apply the conditions of equilibrium to the entire system or isolate the bodies from the internal connections and apply the COE to them also. At the internal connection, say a hinge, the direction of components of the reaction are assumed on any one of the bodies and the opposite direction is assumed on the other body. This is done because when an internal force is exposed, it occurs in pairs, having the same magnitude and line of action but opposite direction. Consider a system of two connected bodies as shown in the figure. The external supports are the hinge at P and the roller at Q. The internal connection is a hinge at R. The figure alongside shows the FBD of the whole system. The FBDs of the isolated bodies are as shown below. Consider the following note while analyzing connected bodies. The direction of HR and VR on the member PR is opposite to that on member QR. The following problems will be helpful to understand the concept behind a system of connected bodies. The way we isolate the bodies show the internal forces in pair and opposite directions at the internal connection and finally apply COE to the system as well as to the isolated bodies to calculate the unknowns. Consider the following problem. Block P of weight 25 newtons and Q of weight 50 newtons are connected to each other as shown. They are held in equilibrium on a smooth slope and a rope tied parallel to the slope. Find external support reactions and tension in the connecting rope too. The system has two bodies namely blocks P and Q which are externally supported by smooth surfaces offering reactions RP and RQ and a rope 1 giving tension reaction T1. The bodies are internally connected by rope 2. On isolating the blocks the internal reaction tension T2 can be seen. We will first select the coordinate axis along the slope. The x-axis is along the slope and y-axis perpendicular to it. We will first analyze block P to find tension in rope 2, that is T2, and then using that value, we will find the tension in the other rope. We will first apply conditions of equilibrium to block P. We will calculate the summation of forces in both x and y directions and equate them to zero. We thus find T2 is equal to 12.5 newtons and Rp is equal to 21.65 newtons. Similarly, we will apply conditions of equilibrium to block Q. That is, we will equate summation of forces in both x and y directions to zero. On substituting the calculated value of T2 and other values, we calculate T1 to be equal to 37.5 newtons and Rq to be 43.3 newtons. Consider the following problem. A compound beam ABC is loaded and supported. Find the support reactions. Note that B is an internal hinge. The system has two bodies AB and BC. The external supports consist of a fixed support at A and a roller support at C. The bodies are internally connected by a hinge at B. The figure shows the FBD of the system. Conditions of equilibrium can be applied where maximum three unknowns are to be found. In this case, we find that there are four external unknown reactions. We will therefore have to isolate the system to find all the support reactions. Part BC has been isolated and its FBD is shown below. On isolation, the internal hinge reactions HB and VB can be seen at point B. We can now apply the conditions of equilibrium to isolated system BC. On calculating the summation of moments 
of all forces at point B and equating it to zero, we find RC is equal to 15 newtons. Now, we can analyze the entire system ABC, applying conditions of equilibrium to the entire system ABC. On equating the summation of moments of all forces about A to zero, we find the moment at point A is equal to 823.2 newton meters in an anti-clockwise sense. Also, by finding the summation of forces in both x and y directions and equating them to zero, we find HA is 50 newtons and VA is 171.6 newtons. Now let us consider this problem. A string ABCD carries two loads P and Q. If P equals 10 kilonewtons, find force Q and tensions in different portions of string. In this problem, we have to find the applied force Q and also the tensions in different parts of the string. For this, we will have to isolate the joints and then analyze them separately to find the tensions in strings. We will first isolate joint B of the string. Let T, A, B and T, B, C be the tensions in the string portions A, B and B, C respectively. If we now observe carefully, it is a system of three coplanar, concurrent and non-collinear forces. Hence, we can use Lamy's theorem to find the magnitudes of the unknown forces. On substituting the values and then simplifying, we find tension in string AB to be equal to 13.66 kN and tension in string BC to be equal to 7.07 kN. Now, we will isolate joint C. Let TCD be the tension in portion CD. We can use Lamy's theorem in this case as well. We can calculate tension in string CD to be equal to 7.88 kN. Also, we find applied force Q to be 5.77 kN. Consider the following note while solving such problems. The above problem is solved using Lamy's theorem. We could also solve the problem using conditions of equilibrium. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. We will now learn about equilibrium of pin jointed frames. Pin jointed frames are a system of connected bodies where the members are interconnected by hinges, pins. Loads can be applied anywhere on the member of a frame. Since the members are connected by pins, we are required to find out the forces acting on the pins of the loaded frame. These forces can be found by applying COE to the entire frame and also to the individual members after isolating the members. When we isolate the hinge, pin, the forces occur in pair, equal in magnitude, collinear and opposite in direction. The following problem explains the method of analysis of frames. The figure shows a frame formed by pins connecting three members ACE, BCD and DE. Determine the support reactions. The pin reaction at C as it acts on the members BCD. We will first draw the free body diagram of the entire frame. The external supports are the roller at B giving reaction RB and hinge at A giving reaction RA. Let HA and VA be the components of RA. The internal connection hinges are at C, D and E. Applying conditions of equilibrium to the entire frame, we will first find the summation of moments of all forces about point A and equate it to zero. Thus, we find reaction at roller B to be equal to 90 kN. Then, we will find the summations of all forces about x and y directions and equate them to zero. In the process, we will find HA and VA to be equal to 90 kN and 25 kN respectively. Thus, we have found all the support reactions of the external supports. Now we have to calculate the pin reactions at internal hinge C. We will now isolate the three members of the frame. Their free body diagrams are drawn as follows. Now, applying conditions of equilibrium to member BCD. On finding the summation of moments of all forces at point D and equating it to zero, we find VC is 13 kN acting downwards on member BCD. Since there are still three unknowns and we can only use two remaining COE, we can find the horizontal reaction at C by analyzing member ACE. Now applying conditions of equilibrium to member ACE. Kindly remember 
that on member ACE, VC will be directed upwards. On finding the summation of moments of all forces at point E and equating it to zero, we find HC is 142 kN towards the right on member ACE. Therefore, HC is equal to 142 kN towards the left on member BCD. Thus, we have found pin reaction at C as it acts on the member BCD. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Now, we will learn about statically determinate and indeterminate beams. Statically determinate beam. When the equations of the equilibrium are sufficient to determine the forces and reaction in a beam, such a beam is called as statically determinate beam. Consider the beam show. There are three unknown support reactions acting on the beam. We can apply three conditions of equilibrium to find the three unknowns. Hence this beam is a statically determinate beam. Statically indeterminate beam. When the equilibrium equations are not sufficient to determine the forces and reactions on a beam, then such a beam is called as a statically indeterminate beam. Let us now consider this beam shown. There are five unknown support reactions acting on the beam. We can maximum apply three conditions of equilibrium to the beam. Thus, we cannot calculate all the unknown support reactions. Hence, this beam is statically indeterminate beam. Now, we will learn the method to identify determinate and indeterminate beams. We can apply maximum three conditions of equilibrium to each part of a coplanar beam. Hence, if there is a total of n parts and r reactions, we can use the following relations to define statically determinate beams and statically indeterminate beams respectively. Now, we will take a look at some examples to classify statically determinate and indeterminate beams. Consider the following beam. On drawing its FBD, we find that there are three reactions on the beam. Now, we will check the determinacy of the beam. On evaluating both sides, we find that for this beam, R is equal to 3N. Thus, we find that beam is statically determinate. Now let's take a look at this beam. On drawing its FBD, we find that there are five reactions on the beam. Now we will check the determinacy of the beam. On evaluating both sides, we find that for this beam, R is greater than 3N. Thus, we find that the beam is statically indeterminate. Let's have a quick review of what we have studied in this lecture. We first studied about equilibrium of connected bodies. When two or more bodies are in contact or are connected to each other by an internal connection, they form a system of connected bodies. Next, we studied about equilibrium of pin jointed frames. Pin jointed frames are a system of connected bodies where the members are interconnected by hinges, pins. Since the members are connected by pins, we are required to find out the forces acting on the pin on the loaded frame. Finally, we learned about statically determinate and indeterminate beams. When the equations of equilibrium are sufficient to determine the forces and reactions in a beam, such a beam is called a statically determinate beam. When the equilibrium equations are not sufficient to determine the forces and reactions on a beam, then such a beam is called as a statically indeterminate beam. Then we learn the conditions to identify determinate and indeterminate beams.